Hello, people on the internet watching videos that have to do with cars. Welcome to this. A Toyota Celica Supra in a car shower. In the last video, I dry ice blasted the underside of the Celica Supra in hopes that it would make it look brand new again. However, that wasn't the case. It's just too greasy under here. It is, after all, a 41-year-old car, and these five MGEs are notorious for the back of the valve cover leaking. If you missed out on the last video where I became a fish stick saleswoman, up above my head is a link to the first part of this video. <laughs> In this purple jug is my special blended formula patent not pending because I don't actually have my own detailing product company but I'm pretending on YouTube because I'm an idiot. Sarah's cleaning juice. And to pair with it, my ultra advanced underbody detailing brushes which are not at all toilet scrub brushes. So with that said, let's make a mess. Now that is a clean undercarriage. Much better. It might look a little ugly because the gray primer on the panels underneath and then the random cream colored seam sealer texture coating, but that's factory and how it would have looked brand new. A lot of new cars actually look like that if you notice in some of my reviews. And as you notice, yes, there are some massive boxes back there because thanks to my parts hookup in Japan, Atsuruyu. Did I say it right? <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm dumb. Oh, you Ryu. Cooler lid? <laughs> it's a lid to a cooler. I could have very easily just bought a pace setter header or just a cheap knockoff for this thing, especially considering none of these parts are sponsored and I'm buying them 100% out of my own pocket. But I wanted this to be period correct on brand with the way I'm doing it. This is a Gretty Trust header from Japan and yes it's blue it's the heat treating coating that they put on these and it's a well-known period correct part that would have been done on a car of this era and hopefully whoever wins this thing appreciates how difficult it was to get this in the states for this okay oh man this was nice and clean after I dry ice blasted it but pressure washing up under the car blasted all the crap back all over the engine again. Luckily, this doesn't look like it'll be too terrible to do. It's already gotta be at least 90 in here, even with the AC on. Aha! That's neat, there's like a brace that goes from the power steering pump to the manifold right here. I don't want to take any chances with any of this hardware, so I'm going to coat it with some penetrant. Well, that corner bolt's gonna suck. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, it took the whole stud out, but out is out. I'm dumb. Now I got my tool stuck. That is so easy. That was a lot of scrubbing on the side of the engine, but I think it looks better. 45 minutes later, the side of the cylinder head is all clean along by the exhaust manifold, has been scraped, and the side of the block is also nice and clean. 
The robot snacks that hold the header on are gonna go for a dunk in the ultrasonic cleaner. A splash of the greaser in there. Start. Unfortunately, I could not get a genuine Toyota exhaust manifold gasket for this. Finding parts for this car can be a challenge, a serious challenge, even basic maintenance parts. So I really shouldn't have to worry about it too much because this is such a high quality, expensive header. The flange should be really true and straight on it. Oh shit, I need the hardware. Those actually look almost brand new again. Wow, that works so good. Put a little bit of copper paste on these so they don't seize up. The stud back in here. I have some things to position this on. This is not the same copper that I just put on the gasket. You gotta be careful, I don't wanna scratch this. I gotta take the power steering pump off. Okay. Bracket. It clears without that bracket in the way. I mean, I, I'll put it back, obviously. There's a little bracket that goes to the back of the alternator down there into the back of the power steering pump. That's what it was hitting. So you don't actually have to take power steering pump out, just a bracket. Get this ga gasket ready again. Now this is all clean. Round two, go. Header to one. Joke's on me, I was laughing about it taking five minutes to pull this apart. It's like two and a half hours to get that thing in there. It was kind of a pain in the ass, but it's in. So he said. That shit looks so good. Okay. Hello, welcome to the next day. This is also manufactured by Gretti Trust for the car. It is not blue, however. I'm not really sure why. Gretti didn't make this one blue also. This is an extra optional piece. It doesn't come with the header. I guess because this would give people the option to run true dual piping all the way out the back of the car with this setup. Gasket. Trust exhaust system option parts. Fits 1GG and 5MG. We didn't get the 1GG two liter here in the States. MA61, that's this car. GA61 is a Celica XX. The GZ, that's the Soarer, I believe. An MZ, Soarer and Chaser. And it came with hardware too. Sweet. So far, I gotta say, you pay for what you get and the fitment of this header has been excellent. A little bit of copper paste on these, just makes someone's life easier in the future. Even though this does have this blue heat coating on here, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of heat shielding as well, just because that's, that's what I do. Speaking of heat shielding, sadly, this one couldn't be cleaned. This one is just too far pitted. So. Not using the paint booth. Spicy outside. That cold zinc spray that I put on here is like 93% zinc content. So it is gonna protect this. It's essentially like galvanized now. I think that, that's what galvanized. That's a song. Boo, 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 boo. Put that right back where it goes. On the button. The cold zinc spray is more of a just grayish tone, so I dusted it lightly with some high temp engine enamel, that's silver, to give it a bit of a metallic sheen like factory. Now for the exhaust, cat and back. Sweet. In case you're wondering, I did buy a cat for this, just in case, I don't know where this car is going, but. So all of this piping is stainless in construction, 76 millimeter or three inch. 
I wish this utilized the factory brackets for the exhaust. That would have been nice. Maybe in another life, when I have more time, I'll start my own aftermarket car part company and manufacture things to like OEM tolerances. That'd be, that'd be expensive. Quick detail wax, AKA lube. Haha, <laughs> that's where that one hangs. Where the hell does the other one hang? That's tight. I should just leave it like that. This thing will sound crazy. Muffler. The muffler is gonna sit something like that-ish. All right, we've got partial test fit success. So a little bit of a dilemma, and it was kind of expected. I kind of, kind of thought this was gonna happen. If you remember what happened when I had the custom exhaust made for the URQ, well, same thing with running a cat. The HKS exhaust is 63 and a half millimeter piping, two and a half inch. The new catback is 76 millimeter, three inch piping. And the Cadillac converter, unfortunately, has a three inch flange on the HKS side. The flange on this side needs to get modified so it will bolt in correctly. So I have summoned a resident fabric cobbler. So you already got a game, game plan in your head for this since it's kind of like the URQ all over again? Yeah, I uh, went to Harrison's and dug through his scrap pile because he's awesome. And I got this, which is a three inch to two and a half inch bell. I think our best bet is to bolt this to the cat. Cut this off right about here. Cut this off just behind the flange. And then this should slip over it. Yeah, right there is more or less what's going to have to be. That's bolted up? That would be bolted up, yeah. So you're take. clearing the cross number by plenty, clearing the diff by plenty, muffler. This is a slip fit into here. Oh, and then, and then we bolt this up, tack it into place, and Robert's your mother's brother. I don't understand what that meant. I was a little bit sad to cut the HKS adapter pipe, but that's literally what they sell this pipe for. It's why it came with a piece of bare stock also. Unfortunately, it didn't help us in the situation, but. No, but this will work really well. Oh yeah, that, that's so nice. Yep, that's gonna fit perfect. All right, Sarah's gonna take off the mid-pipe again. Twit fini. New three-inch flange is welded on. A little bevel inside there to step it up. Now I just need to make it match. Wax some grease. There you go, finished product. Gretti Truss long tube header with a Raptor Racing three inch catback exhaust. Now that was not sponsored either. I paid for this entire exhaust system and all together with shipping, I think it was about $3,000. So, hope you like it. I gotta give credit where it's due though and shout out to Raptor Racing for still supporting this platform when literally no one else makes exhaust for these anymore. And same with trust for doing the header still. All right. Yeah, actually. The real question is, do I make the tips parallel with the bottom of the bumper or parallel with the ground? Because the ground is like that and the bumper is like that. Well, first I gotta put this thing on. This holds the bumper up in place. They did a pretty good job at fitment to the muffler and the tips. It clears the bumper cover. What about doing this? A little bit too much. I would say that's pretty damn good. I'm gonna leave it there. I think that's pretty good. I don't wanna mess with it too much. I think that'll do. It's gonna be stinky when it first starts up because all the coating on it, but 
Before I forget, these things, the reason why I didn't put them on if you missed that video, the little plastic clips. These right here, the little ball socket that this metal ball clips into that were broken. Well, voila, 3D printed batch of them. The internet is awesome. It's like this 41 year old getting a hip replacement. Well, I don't know if it's a hip, it's on your nose. It's getting a nose replacement. Yes, I'm going to start up the car. I just, I don't want to forget to do this and you guys are gonna wonder about it, so I'm putting it in the video. Sweet. I literally almost forgot this. I don't wanna melt anything. Shout out to DEI for sending me a bunch of heat wrap a long time ago. Last thing I want is this plastic intake drying and cracking and falling apart, so. Okay. That is the bottom. I think this stuff will work the best. It's insulated. You can see the itchy stuff on the inside and it's black on the outside. So it'll blend really nicely. I use this stuff on the AC components on the Ranger and it works great. So let's see. A little bit of wax and grease remover. This is good surface for it to stick to. If this is not ultra clean. This will not work. Yeah, that should be plenty. Peel the backing. Oh, this stuff is so sticky. Wow, this stuff is really sticky. Okay, good. That is gonna be good. This might not look pretty, but I wanna protect this ridge also. Ta-da! That should be nice and protected from heat now. I got a coolant hose and these vacuum lines. These should probably be wrapped and then I'm good. Oh, that stuff is itchy. Really itchy. There's a coolant hose right by the header. I wanna make sure that's protected also. Job accomplished. That stuff should be good and protected now from the heat along with the underside of the intake. Let's hear how it sounds. I'm so excited. I'm so nervous and so excited. It would suck my battery with that. I'm gonna start this. so deep sounding and bassy. Like you can feel it. That won't relay on camera no matter what. I gotta check the leaks though. Good. I got a leak. I got a leak at the white pipe to cap. in the video because I know someone's gonna make a comment about it that doesn't understand. The smoke you see is not the engine burning oil or anything. That is the paint burning off the header and the exhaust because it's painted inside and out. So it's gonna continue to smoke until all that stuff burns off and it bakes in. We're down to the last couple weeks of this giveaway. So if you want to enter to win this car, the link is in the video description below. Next video you see on the car, I'm gonna be doing coilovers and a couple other suspension component upgrade and replacement on the car, as well as a full paint correction and thorough detailing and putting the louvers painted back on the car. As well as the grill, I'm painting that with the louvers. That's why that's out. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye.